Uh, Kyiv came under attack again on Thursday morning, with the military saying it shot down 10 missiles. Russia has intensified strikes on the Ukrainian capital, carrying out aerial and ground attacks almost daily. Meanwhile, authorities in the Russian border region of Belgorod have ordered the evacuation of children, saying the increase in bombardment is alarming. Imran Khan has this report. A dead child and a distraught grandmother. This is the aftermath of a Russian attack on the Ukrainian capital, Kyiv. An eyewitness describes what happened. Around 3 a.m. there was a strike over there. I woke up and saw the fire. My door was smashed. I woke my mom and ran into the corridor. Then we came outside. We saw people running. Windows were shattered and balconies destroyed. This dashcam footage shows the moment a debris from a missile falls on a busy road. No one was hurt. Ukraine's armed forces says it shot down 10 missiles in total, seven ballistic and three cruise missiles, using the American Patriot missile defense system. In Russia, authorities say they're in the process of evacuating children from villages in the Belgorod region, close to the Ukrainian border. The Kremlin describes the situation as alarming. And there's been more shelling in the Russian-controlled region of Luhansk. Moscow says Kyiv is responsible. Ukraine hasn't commented. A construction site and a poultry farm were targeted. For months, Ukraine has threatened a counter-offensive to take back areas like Luhansk. In late May, security officials said it could begin tomorrow, the day after, or in a week. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera. Uh, let's speak now with our journalist uh, Yulia Shapovalova in Moscow. And Yulia, tell us what will we know about the, uh, the shelling that's going on in Belgorod. So the Belgorod region that borders Ukraine is under attack now, in particular the town of Shebekino. Uh, we've just heard from Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov, and he said that Putin constantly receives reports from the Ministry of Defense and other security services as well. And uh, basically, he is aware about what's going on. We know about the situation in the village of uh, Nova uh, Pakrovka and Nova Petrovka, rather, and and we know that uh, two, uh, two teachers uh, have been wounded there, and at the moment they are in, uh, in hospital right now, according to the um, governor of the Belgorod region. So uh, we we also know that uh, uh, they received shrapnel wounds. wounds. Uh, uh, numerous attacks were reported there overnight as well. According to reports, eight people were wounded in the Shebekino district after heavy shelling uh, last night. And uh, earlier, there were also reports about the alleged breakthrough of the armed forces of Ukraine into the Belgorod region. But later, the authorities denied that, and Governor Gladkov actually uh, said that the, uh, the, there is no hostile groups on the territory of the Belgorod region. Uh, residents are asked to remain calm and, uh, and uh, be vigilant. And also, according to local telegram channels, uh, a shell hit one of the buses that was evacuating people from Shebekino. But that information uh, needs to be, uh, to be proved, because at the moment we do not have any official confirmation on that. All right, Yulia, thanks for that update. Yulia Shapovalova in Moscow. Thank you.